Recently, I went on the Disney Fantasy for the inaugural sailing of Pixar Day at Sea, a very special new addition to the Disney Cruise family where Pixar was definitely a highlight of one day on board. Very similar to Marvel Day at Sea or Star Wars Day at Sea, Pixar Day at Sea actually does replace Star Wars Day at Sea. And today I'm going to give you my full review of the experience and how I thought maybe the small improvements could be made in the future to make it even better. Now, this was an Eastern Caribbean sailing. We went to Tortola, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and of course, Disney's private island castaway key. Now, if you've sailed a lot before, you know that the January time frame usually is a quieter time to sail with most cruise lines and Disney included. This, however, was the most crowded cruise I have ever been on in my life. And I spoke to other guests who were on board with me and other cast and crew, and they all confirmed this was over 90% full. And for the very first time, this is actually the first ceiling, I did confirm this, Disney is sitting families together again. They used to do that in the past. They are doing it again right now. So very unique experience for those of us who have been cruising in the past couple of years to be back to that level of, of very intense crowds on board. It's likely it was this crowded because it was the very first Pixar Day at Sea cruise, but these specialty cruises usually have a tendency to be more crowded in general. And with this special occasion, a lot of people were really excited to experience Pixar for the very first time. So let's get into the Pixar Day at Sea itself. Like other days at seas, you have the opportunity to choose a schedule that works well for you. But on Pixar Day at Sea itself, I had the opportunity to go to the Hey Howdy Hey breakfast with Woody and friends. I saw Woody, I saw Jesse, I saw Bullseye, and several cowboys and cowpokes all around just singing away and having a good time as family. I thought it was a unique experience, fun for little ones, but a little bit much, I think, for uh, some of the older adults in the audience. So I think Disney was really trying to prioritize the youngest among us when they're thinking about Pixar Day at Sea. One of my favorite activities on a special day at sea are the special meet and greets that you experience on board. Pixar Day at Sea, of course, had those meet and greets, not quite as many unique ones as I was expecting, but keep in mind, I live in Central Florida, so I'm used to seeing a lot of those characters for very special occasions, but if you're not used to seeing them, it's gonna be a real treat. Some of the characters that were available just to meet in the lobby or just all around the ship included Mike Wazowski, Sully, Remy, Doug, Miguel, Joy and Sadness, and of course there are some special ticketed meet and greets which are included with the price of your of your cruise, including the incredible experience. I saw Elastigirl and Edna Mode, but there are others available as well depending on the time that you're meeting these characters. And they had the very special Toy Story encounter where you can see Buzz and Woody and perhaps Jesse and maybe Bullseye, depending on when you go and meet these characters. Now, one of the very unique things about at least these meet and greet experiences is the fact that the Incredibles were actually themselves. Usually when we're used to seeing the Incredibles, they have some other mask on. Now, when I say mask, I'm not talking about the mask that covers their eyes, as we see in some of these videos, but they had the other, what do you call it, plastic face coverings on, I think is how I'm best to describe it in this one. So it's a little bit different. If you've met the Incredibles before, this is a really unique way for Disney to do it. They had specialty desserts on board and specialty announcements. I didn't find any of the desserts extraordinary or very good, and I felt like the announcements were cool, but not amazing. Some Pixar friends kind of chatting about their day. One of the really unique things that I experienced was a discussion with an Imagineer who worked on some of the Pixar movies. He actually was a voice actor in many of the Pixar movies, including Mr. Ray and Roz. Really, really cool person to kind of hear talk. It was a sold out, well not sold out, but totally full theme when I went, so I had the opportunity to kind of see him from the side. Still a really cool experience. If you want to see the Imagineer talk about Pixar when you're on your Pixar Day at Sea Cruise, be sure to get there very early because you're going to want to get a seat before they all are gone. And so then I, um, seven years later, I ended up at Pixar. I went to a conference where Pixar was presenting and uh, they were showing how computer graphics... This is Roz from Monsters Incorporated. <laughs> Did you all do your paperwork to come to this performance? Yeah. 
<laughs> now, there were special dance parties on board for kids, specialty meet and greets that were not on the schedule, but the characters were just walking around. That was unique to see. But, of course, one of the things that I was very excited about was the dinner. Pixar Day at Sea had its own individual dinner, which I thought was really unique. Now, usually these specialty dinners are some of the best food I've ever had. This one has, you know, mac and cheese. The bao bun was pretty good. Special salads, things from the kettle, of course, the bread service that we're used to, and those entrees. Now, I'm used to these entrees for special days at sea being the absolute best that I've tried in the main dining rooms on board the Disney Cruise Line. Unfortunately, I was disappointed simply because I felt the food was okay, not outstanding, not anything I'd go out of my way for at all, including the very special Pixar ball dessert and other desserts that I tried. I didn't feel like any of them were really over the top when it came to incredible food flavor. So I feel like this is an area of improvement for Disney when it comes to Pixar Day at Sea, and hopefully it gets closer to where Star Wars Day at Sea was in the past. Now, at night, there were two very special celebrations, in addition to special activities like Mike Night, but for the stage show, we're talking about these two in particular. The Pixar Pals celebration was the first one, where you see some of your Pixar friends, including Joy and Sadness, Mike and Sully, and others, including Remy, actually, was on stage, dancing the night away, kind of having fun. As a family, everybody's dancing together and having a great time. Now, it doesn't include any fireworks with this one. This is just kind of a dancing show and fun for those little ones. The big show that a lot of people were really excited about was Celebrate the Supers. It's actually a later show than you might think. I think it started around 10, 10, 15, something like that. So it's a little bit late, so not as crowded as you would expect it. But this is a fireworks show that happens on board. I was really excited about this show. We saw very special kind of, you know, overlays with the ship itself, which was really cool. You can actually see Frozone trying to catch Jack-Jack here, which was great. And you saw Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl. They're just all running around trying to save the ship from Jack-Jack. Really unique experience how they did this. They were really going for kind of a, a Star Wars slash Marvel Day at Sea, but I feel like it wasn't quite as refined as other Days at Seas that we've seen before. Still fun, and I think if you have younger ones, again, as I've mentioned before, you're going to enjoy it. But I, I felt like it wasn't quite up to that same quality that we're used to when it comes to these very special fireworks and specialty shows at sea. The fireworks themselves were nice, but again, with a day at sea, I was expecting even more fireworks and more of a story to go with it. I felt like the fireworks, you know, you can't go wrong with fireworks, but there wasn't much of a story to kind of bring us along the adventure for Pixar Day at Sea. Overall, I felt Pixar Day at Sea was a fun experience. If you have younger ones in your traveling party who love Pixar and want to meet the characters mentioned, perhaps see some of these specialty shows, then maybe this is the perfect cruise for you. But personally, considering the crowds and the food that wasn't amazing, I'd recommend going on a different cruise, maybe a different Disney cruise or one that doesn't have any theming at all. My personal favorite would be either Star Wars or Marvel Day at Sea, but since Star Wars Day at Sea currently does not exist, I would recommend Marvel Day at Sea. Far better storytelling, incredible food, and in my opinion, better character meet and greets. That's just me. I love love Marvel Day at Sea. Pixar Day at Sea was fun, but I can't see myself doing it again. Those are just my thoughts for Pixar Day at Sea. If you had the opportunity to experience Pixar Day at Sea or just kind of looking at some of the footage, you got different ideas, let me know yours in the comments. Thanks so much for sharing in the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.